Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and I'm covering the dumbest subject ever today, and I've covered a lot of dumb subjects, but this one might just take the cake or take the chocolate in this case, as M&Ms get diverse and inclusive. Of course, they, they say they're getting diverse and inclusive, it's like, wow, great, but then you think about it for more than five seconds and you realize that just means they're taking away details to make things simpler and calling them gender neutral. Like the fact that they've redesigned the M&Ms. Now they all have these white t uh, not these white sport shoes. And like, my God, like what was so wrong with them looking feminine before? <laughs> like, I mean, like, doesn't this make things less inclusive and making things look less like both genders? There's only two, by the way. Don't tell me that being trans is a gender. It's not. It's not. Humans cannot create genders. Uh, and I'm smart enough to know that you should be too. But, oh, come on. Like, also, like, there's more that goes into this. Because not only when you think about it, more than instant do you realize, oh, wait, why does M&M's need to cater to every race, gender, and sexual identity. In fact, they're not even doing all of that. Why don't they have Braille m ms for the blind, you know? No, there's no, there's no M&M in a wheelchair. Not seeing that. Uh, I'm not seeing an m m with a hearing disability. Um... Not seeing M&M's of varying shades of red. I'm not seeing M&M's that identify as trans. Like, what? Wh where? Popping in to say hi. Allow us to reintroduce ourselves if you're new here. Who doesn't know what M&M's is? We're M&M's, the candy you know and love. Well, I don't really love this company anymore. Uh... But this space is all about fun. Together we can use the power of fun to create a world where we all belong. Seriously. Like. Oh, oh, come on. Like, they can't, they can't honestly believe that people are stupid enough to believe. Wow. It's not like anyone could pick up an M&M's before and feel welcome eating it. Like, I, I've seen so many people eat M&M's. <laughs> don't care what gender or race that they are. You just eat M&M's, okay? There's no... I feel uncomfortable eating these M&M's because, you know, I'm African-American. And these don't feel like they cater to people of my race. Um, For those of you who know me, I'm clearly white. But, yeah, I'm pretending, like, someone actually feels uncomfortable eating M&M's because they're race or gender. Nobody asked for this, wrote the Twitter user, goes by the handle 12 Nini. Especially women who have loved the green m m for years, bring back the boots. See? See? You, even women don't like it. No, they unyassified the green m m Never say that again. <laughs> I can't wait for the internet to inevitably obsess over the creative... Cre incredibly subtle new design changes to the m m characters oh like the fact that they changed their shoes and that the green m m looks less feminine now instead of uh now instead of uh skin tones they have like white and um except for a couple of them which they didn't change like seriously do they really look any Different? They don't look too much different, so I don't know what they're talking about. I cannot be the only one that is bothered by the changes made by red, yellow, and green. Yeah, I see some subtle changes, but, like, they don't really do anything. But anyway, guys, I'm done ranting about M&Ms. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you do believe this is, for some reason, a good decision, get out of my comment section. You're too lowbrow for my channel. I'll see you again later. Remember to have a great rest of your day. And uh, to the stupid people watching, 
I'm not trying to insult you, okay, okay. I, it was a bad joke, okay. I'm not attacking anyone. Bye.